Hey, it's Endless Endless Summer, and you're listening to Real Country Sessions. Real Country Sessions, Red Deer's new music podcast from the CKGY studios. Listen or download at realcountryreddeer.ca. Real Country 95.5. Brand new Real Country Session. Joining me today, Bob and Clint Moffitt's Endless Summer. Thank you so much for taking some time today, guys. Hey, thanks for having us, guys. Now, let's, let's discuss this. You guys have been in the music industry for, for quite some time. I mean, I don't think anybody doesn't know the name The Moffitt's in Canada. You were huge in the pop music world, but then you decided uh, you'd take a little bit of time. You went to Nashville for, for some time and are now a country group. Can I, can I ask, what was the decision? Why was the change from, from pop to, to country? Well, I mean, that's actually a, a great question. We, we started off in country. So in 1995, we were 10 and 11, and we were the youngest band to ever sign a, a record deal out of Nashville. So our first, you know, we started when we were three and four. So our first, let's say, 10, 12 years in the industry was, was in country music. And so, um, you know, I guess in 97, 98, um, we, we grew up a little bit, and our musical styles changed, and we were experimenting, and it led to uh, pop rock stuff. So our roots were always here, and it just made sense for us. Uh, we wanted to get back to Nashville. Our mom was living there, and we wanted to get with some great writers, and that's what we've done. So. Nice. Now, it, over 15 years now in Nashville, who, who do you like to work with? Who are, who are the writers that you just really kind of base off of? That's uh, Well, you know, you kind of find a groove. It's like uh, Craig Wiseman said it best when we saw him a little while ago. He said, you know, songwriting is like going on a date because you don't know the person. And you sort of get in a room, it can be very awkward or it can be incredible. You know, even if it's like the first meeting's not great, the second one might, you might click on the second one. So, you know, we've, we've had the chance to write with a lot of hit writers. But sometimes you need to just write with somebody that isn't necessarily the top writer and you have a good connection. That's, that's what songwriting is all about, just finding chemistry with one person or two or three people. And um, so Summer Overstreet, who's Paul Overstreet's daughter, Paul Overstreet wrote Forever and Ever Amen and when you say nothing at all and classics yeah so you know she's she's a talent um and she's pretty on the up and up in nashville and then uh, a guy named john wiggins who wrote like tequila makes your clothes fall off and he wrote when uh, a lot of other stuff but it's more about the people you know i think everybody just you know certain people mesh with certain people and and those are the two that we've written with consistently now is there anybody that you haven't worked with yet that you would really like to work with um, yeah. In Nashville? Yes. Um, yeah, there's so many. I mean, I, I feel like we're, you know, specifically, um, this, this is a really hard question. I mean, it's not, we usually just kind of deal with what we have in front of us, but I feel like, you know, there's some great writers. I mean, obviously Shane McAnally's killing it. Um, we've never really worked with him. We've met him quite a few times, never worked together. Um, Ross Copperman, who's just tearing the charts up right now. I mean, he's got like, I mean, probably five of the top ten songs on country radio. And, he, and we were one of his very first writes so when he came to Nashville, and we worked together. So we know him well, um, and, and that would be a, kind of a cool thing to figure out maybe something to do in the future. But there's, a lot, there's so many. I mean, it's just a town filled with immense talent. And let's talk about uh, your current single, Amen for Women. How did that come together? Well, Bob had the hook. And we were sitting on it for a little while, and that's kind of another example. You know, when we get into a room to write, we kind of throw ideas at each other, and sometimes somebody's feeling it, the other, you know. And Amen for Women was a hook that we threw at a couple people, and they didn't really know where to go with it. But Summer, we wrote with it. She said, yeah, let's do it. And so for us, it was a really easy song to sort of know what we wanted to say because we were talking about our mom, or Nana, who passed away a couple years ago. She was like a huge, huge part of our life. Uh, he's married, been married for six years. I have a girlfriend, so endless amounts of stuff to draw from and we just kind of felt like we wanted to write something that was a different sort of take on women you know um more of like how we feel like when we when we hang out with our mom and and things like that how what we wanted to say about that so in a way it's kind of become a praising of women in in, in a way but for us it's just sort of like a just the truth you know an honest (laughs) song that's all it is yeah yeah. so you got your guitars here you're gonna play something for us Yeah. yeah Flipping their hair, the curve of their hips, the way they bite that bottom lip, yeah, they drive us wild. Quiet and loud, sexy and stubborn, they steal your heart, then they're stealing your covers, yeah, it's just their style. 
Sometimes it's hard living with them When they're gone it's easy to miss them They make this crazy life worth living Amen for women Little smile with some sunset kissing Little towel there for dancing in the kitchen Ain't gotta try, it's all God given Amen for women Oh, 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 yeah Oh, oh, oh They listen with their heart And talk with their eyes Rocking them babies to sleep at night Stay by your side if you treat them right Oh, yeah, you gotta treat them right Sometimes it's hard living with them When they're gone, it's easy to miss them They make this crazy life worth living Amen for women Little smile with some sunset kissing A little towel there for dancing in the kitchen Ain't gotta try, it's all God given Sometimes it's hard living with them But when they're gone it's easy to miss them You can try to read them but that book ain't written Amen for women Let a smile with some sunset kissing A little time there for dancing in the kitchen Ain't gotta try, it's all God given Amen for women Oh, 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 yeah Oh, oh, oh They make this crazy life worth living Amen for women Thank you, thank you Now we're gearing up for 2017 What's that look like for Endless Summer? Well, lots of, mm-hmm. lots of touring. Um, I mean, it looks like right now, Boots and Hearts, uh, you know, Stampede. I mean, hopefully all Every, across the country. You know, yeah. that's, we've been in the studio long enough. We want to get on the road and start playing yeah, this yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. 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 So. I always throw out uh, what I call fantasy booking. So if you could pick the, the, the tour of your dreams right now, pick two artists. So you pick one, you pick one. Who would it be and why that you go out with? Be, for me, it would be pretty easy. I think Keith Urban would be like a, a perfect... Yeah. You know, because I, I, we just love his stuff, and we've seen him a couple times. And, and actually, when we left country music, that one, that first record, Golden Road, was one of the records that we listened to. And we said, you know what, like, this is, let's, let's go back to Nashville, because this is yeah. pretty, you know, what he was doing, and, and it just was really fresh and different. And um, But I think he just seems like also a good guy. Like, he just seems like he'd be a good touring guy to, to hang out with. My turn? Yes. I mean, I would have said the same thing. Right. We love Keith right. Urban. Yeah, yeah. Um but there's so many. George, I, I, Strait. George Strait would be fantastic. Um, and um, I'm trying to think. It'd be uh, somebody you'd want to, like, watch, like, over and over again because yes. you're hanging out quite a bit. And so sure. Keith exactly. and George, there's just so many great artists going on. But, I mean, uh, Dwight Yoakam. I mean, that's a little old school, but we love Dwight. So you know, he's, yeah. he's killer. <laughs> Eric Church is fantastic, too. <laughs> you got one. <laughs> yeah, you can't, you, can't, that's, you can't just pick one. Let's call it the All-Star Live. Yeah. yeah, there you yeah. go. Now, social media, everybody's on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and stuff. If people want to know more about you, where can they go? Well, I mean, the thing that we're the most active, we're on, on all the platforms, but we do Facebook every Wednesday at 420. Okay. Facebook Live. Uh, Facebook Live. Gotcha. And that's been a great way for us to connect with people and build our audience. Um, so we're on that a lot. But we're on Instagram. So that's uh, Facebook.com slash Endless Summer Music. And then there's Instagram, Endless Summer underscore Music, and Twitter, and all, the, all that stuff. So we're on it all. We're in the modern world. Thanks for listening to Real Country Sessions, Red Deer's new music podcast from the CKGY Studios. For more, visit realcountryreddeer.ca. Real Country 95.5.